how to create the life that you want. We all have dreams, goals, and aspirations we wish to achieve. We even have a life that we want to live. But have you ever wondered how to create that life? Don't worry if you don't because you're not alone. So this video is slightly different from our usual videos. They're all about e-commerce, ads, and AI. And today we're gonna talk about our dream life. There are eight ways that might be really helpful in achieving the life of your dreams. Number one, find your purpose. Take time to reflect on yourself. Your purpose in life isn't what your family or society wants you to be. From a very young age, we all fall prey to their pressure and tend to lose the friendship between our interests and ourselves. However, there is no specific, well-defined path to find your purpose, and it doesn't happen overnight. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible. Rekindle your interests and take time for yourself to realize what excites you and what does not. Ask yourself one question. What is the one thing that makes you look forward to getting to the future? Once you find the answer, leave no stone unturned in trying to achieve it. Number two. Maintain a journal. From Einstein to da Vinci, from Marie Curie to Kahlo, each of these famous figures maintained a journal to record their experiences, thoughts, and feelings. It's called journaling. There are many benefits of journaling. Studies suggest that keeping a journal and writing down your thoughts create a positive impact on your mental health, as you're getting the negative thoughts out of your system by writing them down. For example, when your mind keeps running a loop of your problems and negative thoughts, write them all down. This way, you might actually realize what exactly is making you all stressed out and you might even come up with a solution that you haven't thought of before. Another benefit of journaling is keeping a track of your achievements. One fine day down the line, when you wish to read the journal and revisit your younger self, you will be proud to see the transition. Sketching in the journal is also a great way of putting your thoughts down. Number three, self-introspect. First, let's clear out the difference between overthinking and self-introspection. Overthinking is going over a problem and running it in a loop countless number of times in your head. Introspection is a reflecting way to look inward and to examine your thoughts. The difference between the both of them is all that matters. Let me put it this way. When you overthink, you keep ranting inside your head about what has happened or what is about to happen. Instead, focus on why it happened. How did you react to it? And how could you have prevented it? It also helps you to analyze your weaknesses and your strengths and motivates you to work on them. And as I've already mentioned, journaling is also a great way of introspection. Number four, don't give up. You might have expected me to tell you not to give up on your dreams and ambitions. And of course, that is quite important. But what is much more important is not giving up on yourself. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't get disappointed by your failures or that you should stay happy throughout them. You just need to realize that there are good days and there are bad days. Remember that success is not a result of less failures, but a result of what you've learned from the many failures that you've had. So cut yourself some slack and stop blaming yourself. Believe in yourself and start afresh. Number five, don't procrastinate. The proverb procrastination is the thief of time itself conveys how dangerous procrastination could be. Putting things off until the very last moment creates fertile ground for stress, guilt, and ineffectiveness. You might not even be able to reach your potential and thus end up getting disappointed to not being able to achieve your goal. Now, the question is, how can you overcome this? To overcome procrastination, you must realize, why are you doing it? Is it because of too many distractions? Is it because you think you're not capable of doing the task? Or is it because the task at hand is simply uninteresting? If you're delaying the work due to distractions, for example, watching YouTube, better take out some time from the schedule just to watch YouTube. If you make a schedule too tight to follow, you might end up losing interest and hence delay doing the task. So make a practical schedule and promise yourself a reward after the task is done. 
If you think you're simply not capable of doing something, do not postpone it. Instead, start it as soon as you possibly can. This way, you might even have some time to prepare yourself for the task. Start with the uninteresting task first. This way, you will have the interesting ones left, and this will make you look forward to doing them. And number six, start your own business. Yes, you heard that right. By starting your own business, you can follow your passion. Many entrepreneurs say that the long hours that they invest in growing their businesses does not feel like work because they're actually having fun in what they're doing. This way, you can also choose your own work-life balance and work at your own pace. So setting up your own business is also a productive way to live the life that you want. Number seven, automate more of your life. Why work hard when you can work smarter? Some can start their day without coffee, while others seem to be having trouble paying their phone bills on time. Now, won't the introduction of automated coffee machines that are programmed to make coffee and availability of an option in the phone that pays the bill automatically at the end of each billing cycle make life easier? Exactly. Automation is the new trend, and it would definitely make our lives much easier. So look for options that are automated to make your life as easy as possible. And finally, number eight, prioritize your health. Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, we've realized how much health matters to individuals, society, and the global economy. Paying attention to your physical, mental, and emotional well-being is the most basic, yet the most important way to happiness. When you prioritize your health and body, you'll feel refreshingly confident. Focus on how you would feel after a good workout or eating a refreshing meal. Sounds good, right? These were the eight ways that I think would take you a step closer to the life that you want to live. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. Bye for now.